What's up, YouTube? It's Yaba. And Kari. What's good, y'all? We back with another video. We back, back with, a, with another video. video. You know what I'm saying? Video. So, today we're doing George Carlin Save the Planet. We are have such a long list of George to do, y'all. Don't be mad of us at us if it takes a little bit longer. I'm been drinking wine. <laughs> Don't be mad of us. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe <laughs> to this channel. Watch our videos, comment, leave some suggestions. Suggesting them. Um and yeah, and just, yeah. We're just gonna get to George. You know, George just needs his time to talk. Let him do his thing. Do your thing. You're not one of these people who's worried about everything. Tell him, George. You got people like this around you. Country's full of them now. People walking around all day long, every minute of the day, worried about everything. Mm -hmm. Worried about the air, worried about the water, worried about the soil. Worried about insecticides, pesticides, food additives, carcinogens. Worried about radon gas, worried about asbestos. Worried about saving endangered species. Let me tell you about endangered species, all right? Saving endangered species is just one more arrogant attempt by humans to control nature. It's arrogant meddling. It's what got us in trouble in the first place. Doesn't mm. anybody understand that? Interfering with nature. Over 90%, over, way over, 90% of all the species that have ever lived on this planet, ever lived, are gone. <laughs> They're extinct. We didn't kill them all. They just disappeared. Yeah. That's what nature does. Mm. They disappear these days at the rate of 25 a day. And I mean Damn. regardless of our, our behavior. Irrespective of how we act on this planet, 25 species that were here today will be gone tomorrow. Let them go gracefully. Leave nature alone. Leave the muck alone. We done enough. We're so self-important. So self-important. Everybody's going to save something now. Mm -hmm. Save the trees. Save the bees. Save the whales, save those snails. Put on the cake. The greatest arrogance of all, save the planet. What? Mm. Are these fucking people kidding me? <laughs> save the planet? We don't even know how to take care of ourselves yet. We have to learn how to care for one another. We're going to save the fucking planet? I'm getting tired True. of that shit. True. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of fucking Earth Day. I'm tired of these self-righteous environmentalists, these white bourgeois liberals who think the only thing wrong with this country is there aren't enough bicycle paths. <laughs> People trying to make the world safe for their Volvos. Besides, mm -mm. environmentalists don't give a shit about the planet. They don't care about the planet. Not in the abstract, they don't. Mm. Not in the abstract, they don't. You know what they're interested in? A clean place to live. Their own habitat. That's they're worried true. that someday in the future they might be personally inconvenienced. Wow. Narrow, unenlightened self-interest doesn't impress me. Besides, there is nothing wrong with the planet. Nothing wrong with the planet. The planet is fine. The people are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I knew it. The planet is fine. Mm -hmm. Compared to the people, the planet is doing great. It's been here four and a half billion years. Do you ever think about the arithmetic? Planet has been here four and a half billion years. We've been here what? Mm. hundred thousand, maybe two hundred thousand, and we've only been engaged in heavy industry for a little over two hundred years. Mm -hmm. Two hundred years versus four and a half billion, mm -hmm. and we have the conceit to think that somehow we're a threat. That somehow we're going to put in jeopardy this beautiful little blue-green ball that's just a-floating around the sun. The planet has been through a lot worse than us. Mm -hmm. Been through all kinds of things worse than us. Been through earthquakes, volcanoes, plate tectonics, continental drift, solar flares, sunspots, magnetic storms, the magnetic reversal of the poles. Hundreds of thousands of years of Damn. bombardment by comets and asteroids and meteors, worldwide floods, dinosaurs, worldwide fires, erosion, <laughs> cosmic rays, recurring ice ages, what? and we think some plastic bags, <laughs> and some aluminum cans oh are God. going to make a difference. Yeah. The planet, the planet. She knows how to take care of herself. The planet isn't going anywhere. We are. Yes. <laughs> We're going away. Pack your shit, folks. We're going away. And we won't leave much of a trace either. Yeah. Maybe oh. a little styrofoam. Maybe. A little styrofoam. <laughs> maybe a styrofoam. That'll be here. We'll be long gone. Just another failed oh mutation. Just another closed-end biological mistake. Mm -mm. An evolutionary cul-de-sac. 
The planet will shake us off like a bad case of fleas. A surface nuisance. <laughs> you wanna know how the planet's doing? Ask those what? people at Pompeii who are frozen into position from volcanic ash. Georgia! Georgia! Uh, ask those people in Mexico City or Armenia or a hundred other places buried under thousands of tons of earthquake rubble if they feel like a threat to the planet this week. How about those people in Kilauea, Hawaii, who build their homes right next to an active volcano <laughs> and then wonder why they have lava in the living room? Yeah. <laughs> the planet will be here for a long, long, long time after we're gone, and it will heal itself, it will cleanse itself. It will. That's what it does. It's a self-correcting system. The air and the water will recover, the earth will be renewed, and if it's true that plastic is not degradable, well, the planet will simply incorporate plastic into a new paradigm, the Earth plus plastic. <laughs> the Earth doesn't share our prejudice towards plastic. Mm -hmm. Plastic came out of the Earth. The Earth probably sees plastic as just another one of its children. Mm. Could be the only reason the Earth allowed us to be spawned from it in the first place. It wanted plastic for itself. <laughs> Didn't know how to make it. Needed us. Oh my God! The answer to our age-old philosophical question: Why are we here? <laughs> Plastic. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I'm pausing it way too late, but yeah. Oh my God! Why am I dying in this? Okay, I'm sorry. I just had to collect myself before he started going because I know he about to kill it at the end. He's about to bring it around full circle, y'all. Just wait. Y'all, let me tell y'all. That's crazy. I tell people this all the time. Yeah. Climate change, all these things, it's things to worry about for ourselves. It's not for the planet. Mm -hmm. It's not going to damage the planet. The planet is not dying. Earth isn't dying. We are, <laughs> we will be dying. <laughs> I, I tell people all the time, it's not it's not going to affect the Earth. The Earth is not going to just all of a sudden drop out of the fucking orbit of the sun, okay? Mm -hmm. We are going to die. And if we want to save ourselves, then we need to save, like, save, quote unquote, clean our planet up so it doesn't kill us faster. <laughs> that's the only thing mm -hmm. we're doing. Yeah. And yeah. that's what people need to start thinking about. I think what they do with these stupid ass fucking slogans, Earth Day, Save the Planet, all these different things is they do it to where you can blame something else. Mm -hmm. Or someone. Or someone else other than us, right? We can blame the planet for killing us, but really the planet isn't killing us. The planet is just doing what it's been doing since the beginning of time. It's doing its own thing, you know, and the people on it and the animals on it either grow in that thing or they die off. And is. sadly, we are dying off because yeah. we're not smart enough to say, okay, the planet's changing, which is what climate change is. The planet's changing. Let's change with it. Right? We don't want to change with it. We want to be stuck in our little bubble. And you see, once we get stuck in that bubble, the planet doesn't give a fuck about our bubble. It will burn that bubble to the ground. And that is what it's doing. And eventually, it's going to get to the point where we're not going to be able to breathe in certain places. We're not going to be able to live in certain places because it's too hot. You think the planet is upset that it's too hot? It was made hot by the planet. You know what I'm saying? thing is, all these people talking about natural selection and survival of the fittest... If you don't think that exists, if that exists with us and other species, why don't you think that the earth understands that process too? It's a natural process. Like, in every part of life, like, that's why I tell people, you see people doing dumb stuff, let them do it. Natural selection. They will They will kill themselves eventually. Most of our actions are irreversible anyway. Industrialization and everything else, there's nothing we can do to reverse that. No matter how many plastic bags we recycle mm -hmm. or don't recycle or how many fucking pieces of paper we save by going digital. It's getting expelled one way or another. And for I, every action, there is a reaction. Yeah. If somebody is saving paper here, somebody else is wasting Wasted. paper there. If a tree is growing here, another tree is dying there. For every person that's born, somebody fucking dies. Hello, guys. Come on now. The I, earth does not give a fuck about us. I think what we have to understand is it's not necessarily about saving anything. It's about slowing Right? Preserving it. We are preserving. Like how we preserve the forest in the United States to a certain point. To a certain point. Because y'all know, come on. I, I'm not going to get y'all into a whole history lesson. But we, we, we did a little thing to preserve certain sections of the forest. But when it comes to like 
preserving our planet, right? We're doing that so we stay on here longer. We're not doing it to save the planet. The planet's not going to die. We're doing it to save ourselves. Mm-hmm. And that's what it, that's what the slogan should be. Preserve ourselves. You mm-hmm. want to live and have generations and generations and generations. We preserve ourselves. We evolve in the section. The problem is that everyone is ignoring the problem, which is preserving ourselves. And it's going to lead to less time for ourselves on Earth. That's all it means. It's not saying, you know, I'm not saying climate change isn't happening. It's happening to us. It's not happening to the planet. Mm -hmm. It's happening to us. The climate's changing because Earth is changing. Mm -hmm. And sadly, we are having an adverse reaction to it. (laughs) So Yeah, just like with COVID, it mutated for some of us so bad to the point where we couldn't survive it. And others of us have immune systems that can withstand it as if it were just a small flu. So So. I I think a lot of times, you know, there's always going to be that one person that survives and Hopefully they, you know, but it, as humans, we only live in a, a very small possibility, right? We need air, we need water, we need that 1%, and that's how we stay alive, that small 1%. The stars Think have to it. align just perfectly enough for us to, for be, us to able be able to survive. And for us to breathe, for us, there's, we have seen in this galaxy, y'all can look it up, billions of planets, probably millions at this point, of planets that we cannot live on. So we are right now, let's say, that 1% or that 0.001%, whatever it may be, Maybe of a situation to where life is actually living. Our type of life, not a microorganism, our type of life. So with that being said, we know that how to preserve our 1% and we're not doing what we need to do to preserve it. It has nothing to do with saving the planet, but what a lot of the corporations and stuff that are, is kind of pushing further to have us destroy the planet or destroy our ecosystem mm-hmm. is they're not re- we're not realizing that it's not about the planet it's about ourselves mm-hmm. we're getting rid of that percentile yeah. we're getting rid of that one percent chance to preserve ourselves mm-hmm. what we need to understand as humans this is not the marvel fucking cinematic universe okay <laughs> and nobody can heroes. grab up the world okay and put it on their back and Nobody can heroes. fly through the air and push fucking spaceships to where they need to go. We can't do that. We do you to really think together. we can save the damn planet? No. She needs to save herself. And she might be saving herself from us. Yeah. Because we, we, we we're not preserving the conditions we need to live. Mm. That's the problem. Not that we're hurting. We're hurting the planet for our conditions to live. We're living, breathing trash bags. Basically. And I'm not, I, and that's just how I feel. People can, I'm not arguing about climate change. I don't care about what you think. The, the climate is changing, yes, but is it hurting the earth? No. Mm-hmm. The earth is fine. It's hurting us. Yeah. We're, we're, our conditions to live are changing, and we need to change to it, or we're going to pass away very fast. Come on, George. So, the plastic is here. Our job is done. We can be phased out now. And I think that's really started already. He said plastic. To be fair, the planet probably <laughs> sees us as a mild threat. Something to be dealt with, then I'm sure the planet will defend itself in, in, in the uh, manner of a large organism like a beehive or an ant colony can muster a defense. <laughs> I'm sure the planet will think of something. What would you do if you were the planet trying to defend against this pesky, troublesome species? Let's see. What might. Hmm, viruses. Viruses. <laughs> but they seem vulnerable to viruses. And uh, viruses are tricky, always mutating and forming new strains whenever a vaccine is developed. Perhaps. This first virus could be one that, that compromises the immune system of these creatures. Perhaps a human immunodeficiency virus making them vulnerable to all sorts of other diseases and infections that might come along. And maybe it could be spread sexually, making them a little reluctant to engage in the act of reproduction. Ooh. Well, that's a poetic note. And it's a start. And I can dream, can I? So I don't worry about the little things. Bees, trees, mm. whales, snails. I think we're part of a greater wisdom. Mm. That we will ever understand. Yeah. A higher order. Call it what you want. You know what I call it? The big electron. <laughs> the big electron. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Why is he like this? It, is. it doesn't punish. It doesn't, it doesn't judge at all. Oh, it just, it just don't. And so are we. For a little while. Mm-hmm. Thanks for being here with me for a little while tonight. Thank you. You are... Oh, wait, wait, wait. A genius. 
this I, I don't care what no one says philosopher right George here. is definitely um see I have yeah. ideas in my head that, like what of what I think should be but the way he's able to articulate and tell everyone or make logic of what's going on that's that's a different type of brain set top tier man he's a top tier man and I'm very sad that he's gone because I would have left he should have been him. here. He was placed in the wrong timeline because he's getting to see this. We're seeing the after effects. <laughs> he should have been here now, and he would have. Oh, this would have been a. I would. I would have been to his specials. Believe that. I wonder what year this was. It looks. I don't know. The camera quality is pretty bad, so I'm assuming it's probably early two thousands. Mm, like two thousand nine ish. I hope. Hey, I hope it was. I got a question for y'all. Is there any other person that you all can name that is like? Even somewhat filling his shoes. If so, drop them in the comments. Yeah. Because I don't know. I don't think there is. But if there is, or even just know. remotely close to it, just let us know. Um, just some, someone that actually is doing comedy with a brain, you know, not necessarily like witty or funny or because I mean like on the more on, on the philosophy, phil- philosophical, philosophical side of things, not. On the, you know, just trying to be funny, not on the race, not on the, you know, how people interact. That's cool and all. That's funny, mm-hmm. too. But I want to actually talk about the bigger issues a lot of times in comedy. And I think we're missing that side of things. That's satirical Because people comedy. are getting butt hurt. Mm-hmm. But comedy was a way to push ideas sometimes. And mm-hmm. I think we lost a little bit of that yeah. along the way. So, mm-hmm. with that being said, you guys, we love you guys very, very much. And please, 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 like we said, just give us somebody who's... Maybe similar. I'm not sure. I try to keep up with comedians, but I do a really bad job. So, <laughs> someone that's a little, even a little bit similar. And we love you guys. And be kind. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this is-